Welcome back, Freedom Protectors. Hey, today I am going to share with you one freedom-loving sister on today's episode of Second Amendment News, where I cover all of the things that are happening on the House floor, because this is your house, and the news isn't going to cover it. But what can we say about Congresswoman Lauren Boebert? I mean, she has come in and flipped it upside down. I can't wait for this sister to be president someday. And if you don't know who she is, get ready to fall in love. Because this is three minutes of a total whoop-ass of the ATF. Let's check it. Mr. Speaker, the ATF's new pistol brace rule violates the separations of powers. Yes. Bureaucrats don't create laws. Congress does. This rule functions like a law that Congress never passed. ATF, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. In Western Colorado, we call that a fun weekend. But DC bureaucrats have used this agency to infringe on the rights of the American people. When you research how many pistol braces the ATF expects to be registered, the number varies. Some say 10 million, others say 20 million, and it still may even be 40 million. Why such disparity? Because the ATF doesn't know how many are out there, because law-abiding Americans do not trust them enough to tell them. In fact, there's probably going to be many more boating accidents this spring and summer than we've ever encountered in U.S. history from law-abiding gun owners. We don't trust the ATF because of their overreaching actions, exactly like we're seeing with this rule. There's been a lot of talk about defunding the ATF, even abolishing the agency altogether. And I'm still here waiting to hear a good reason why the ATF should remain an agency at all. And yet I've yet to hear one. Instead of providing regulations that keep our communities safe, this agency has made our communities more dangerous by laundering weapons to the cartels. Operation Fast and Furious exposed the recklessness of the ATF, how little regard they have for the rule of law, and Americans have had a hard time viewing these agencies and its rules as, leg as legitimate. Think about it. The ATF had about 1,700 firearms that were being tracked, they had tracers on them, that they were selling to known criminals during this Operation Fast and Furious. They lost 1,700 traced firearms. And now they expect to go after law-abiding American citizens for firearm accessories? Are they really that competent to go after this many millions of Americans for a firearm accessory, a stabilizing brace? when they had 1,700 tracked firearms in the hands of known criminals that they just lost? I think that alone proves the legitimacy of this agency, and I'm very excited to bring them into the oversight and accountability hearing so they could speak for themselves of why they should remain an agency in our federal government and not have the uh, appropriate features of their agency put under another, like the FBI once we clean that out. But other than that, the Second Amendment, it is absolute. All the regulations that bureaucrats make, the laws that bureaucrats are trying to make, the unconstitutional laws that are passed by the federal government, the state legislatures, they make our country less safe. Gun-free zones are the most dangerous places in our country. The Second Amendment is absolute, and it's here to stay. A recent report states that Americans own 46 percent of the world's guns. I think we need to get our numbers up, boys and girls.